you look at the polling and those numbers about who believes what, what does that tell you about what the next few weeks and months are going to look like? I feel like Representative Kinzinger hit the nail on the head when he said, with all of this truth, with all of the evidence that we have, there are still certain people who won't believe it. And we know what he's talking about, those Trump supporters who Trump has been able to hold in his grips with his lies, with his consistent themes of, of just ignoring the reality of how serious and how dangerous January 6th was and the impact that that has had on our democracy. I do think that the Select Committee still has an uphill battle in terms terms of what it's presenting to the public and its public hearings, not necessarily to persuade those individuals, but to make sure that anybody who was responsible for planning, executing, funding, and participating in this attack is held accountable. Because going into this year, we know there are concerns about that. We know there are concerns about the DOJ and their potential to run an investigation and ultimately what criminal referrals could come from this. And so I think that the Select Committee has a heavy uh, lift here. I appreciate Chairman Thompson laying out what they do know now that they didn't know before. And I expect more of that is going to come, just like we saw heard from those explosive text messages that um, the select committee laid out. So I think these public hearings early into in the coming months are going to be telling about the picture that they're going to be able to display because we know while voters aren't watching their every move like we are or probably not going to read their reports, we know that will be their opportunity to lay out their case, lay out why individuals should be held accountable and exactly who will be held accountable. Well, Eli, to that point, three of us have sat here many times, four of us, and said midterms in 2022, midterms in 2022. It is now 2022. When you look at those poll numbers, roughly four in 10 Republicans and independents saying violent action against the government is sometimes justified. How does this fall's midterms impact the pace of the investigation? Well, I don't know that I think, you know, given that the midterms are out there and that there is the prospect, very real prospect that Democrats lose control of the House, this committee understands that they need to wrap this up uh, quickly. And I think the, the goal is to do that by the middle of the year. And that's obviously driven uh, in part by, uh, you know, the political calendar. Uh, but I think, you know, when you when you look at it in terms of the politics, I mean, this is tough. This is not necessarily a huge issue that you're seeing Democrats running on. In fact, it's become, you know, January 6th, the insurrection, Trump's big lie, all of that is more central to the politics on the Republican side. Rather mm -hmm. than running away from it, you know, this is now who they are. They are defending it. This is the new lost cause. And when so many of your voters live in this hermetically sealed media eco chamber, where they are just totally impervious to not just facts, but to evidence, uh, you're seeing a lot of Republican candidates running as far to the right, putting their arms around the former president as tightly as they can. And you're not seeing on the on the left, you're not seeing Democrats out there. I mean, they're going to talk about it. They're go, you know, but but I, you just get the sense that that is not going to be the issue. Saving democracy is not going to be the issue that gets voters to the polls. Uh, if anything, it gives them maybe a little more motivation to come up with some way to address voting rights so that their base, the Democratic base, isn't frustrated that Republicans have passed all of these laws predicated on Trump's big lie at the state level to make it harder for people to vote. And the Democrats, who control every lever of power in Washington except for the Supreme Court, haven't done anything, haven't come up with a federal response. And I think that's where the pressure is going to fall on Democrats, on the White House, and on the Democratic majorities, slim majorities in Congress over the next few months, is to try to come up with some uh, legislative response to what Republicans have done uh, around voting laws. Juanita, do you agree? I do think that the focus on voting right is going to be critical, but I think this is an opportunity for Democrats to really label Republicans as the anti-democratic and democracy party, as an unpatriotic party, because keep in mind, they have obstructed any investigation into what happened into January 6th every step of the way. They refused to hold Trump accountable at his second impeachment trial, and they obstructed any bicameral commission to dig into January 6th, and I think that's something Democrats absolutely should be zeroing in on, because we know Republicans don't have anything of substance to run on. So I agree that Republicans are going to trend further to the right, but keep in mind how that could turn off swing voters who swung from Trump back to Biden. They don't necessarily want that across the country. I think that 
again, goes to the point that while voters might not be watching every single step that every day of the select committee's work, they are watching for what precipitates from this investigation, knowing that swing voters could be turned off from more Republicans going further to the right or more Republicans being implicated in planning and executing January 6th could be definitely have an impact going into 2022. Kitty, you know, it, it strikes me, Juanita has made that point twice now, and it is a good point. It is the right point, which is that we all watch the moment to moment of how this has unfolded. That, that is just not true for most voters. I, I do think the caveat there is that the January 6th committee is now entering a new phase of its investigation, holding public hearings. Uh, one, what can we expect in the next few months in this investigation, in the realm of the public hearings? And does the fact that there is now going to be a much more public component of it potentially extend the reach of who's going to be following the going-ons? Yeah, we can absolutely expect a more public aspect of this investigation. A lot of the information has been coming out piecemeal, uh, even details over the past week about videos that uh, we we probably are going to see, and hopefully going to see about what Trump had recorded before he sent out a message that day last year. Uh, we're going to see a lot of information coming out, and it's going to help the case, because as we saw in the past public hearing, uh, where we heard from Capitol officers and their emotional, powerful testimony, that resonated with people, people who were there, people who saw what was happening, hearing their firsthand accounts of what was the truth of the matter, as opposed to what has been spun or what has been changed, what narrative has been changed in the past several months and now here uh, after this uh, investigation started, all of that is hanging in the balance right now. I mean, what we can expect going forward is that to, to put this in front of the American people will be super beyond important at this point, because considering that all the attacks on democracy have happened uh, not in a dramatic video, not on a dramatic scene or camera or on, on many American right. screen in the past several months to the year, a lot of them have been happening on the local level. These attacks have been against elected officials. They've been uh, misinformation from elected officials as well. We've seen so many bills, as mentioned earlier, that have really taken attacks on restricting uh, the access to the ballot. We've seen so many proposals and bills coming into 2022. This attack on dem democracy goes Goes, democracy goes beyond of what just happened on January 6th. And Americans probably aren't able to see that up front. But what this investigation will do is lay out firsthand experiences, what people need to know, what they need to hear, what they need to see. However, we know that may not always make a difference. The polling shows it as is. Uh, we, it, it is disappointing to see. But what we can do is hope that with more information, with a public hearing, with more public hearings, hearings and testimonies and information that's clearly, clearly laid out for the American people, they can trust what they're hearing actually happened and is, and is a full-on attack on democracy.